are y'all ready to see what we got for our $373 at a 19 degree auction? Oh my gosh, it was so unbearably cold. But you know, as a picker, we are determined to get goods for you all. So I'm actually going to unbox the boxes as um, and see what's in them because really I don't know. I would have I would have saw one or two items that were in one of the boxes that I knew that I could make my money back on. So a lot of the goodies I don't even have a clue what they are. So I thought I would share the unpacking with you all. If you were just checking out this channel for the first time, you are on Ginger Chick Rehab. My name is Yvonne, and I am doing this haul with my husband Chris. Um, who bared the auction with me today also, and he's the one who finds all these awesome auctions. And I just have to give a shout out um, to the viewer that actually ended up being her aunt's estate that we were at. We were at like an hour and a half away in Indiana. Um, I had to look at Chris to double check that we were in Indiana because we go to a lot of Ohio's. And I believe her name is Shirley, so if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. You know, it was windy, it was cold, and I had my earmuffs on. So let's get into a, unpacking these boxes. Okay, look at this goodness. Y'all knew that I was going to bid on this box. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch of spools with yarn, um, other spools, sponges, spools. You know, I love spools. I love reselling spools. And it was all just kind of um, all put together. Are these like for... Um, what are these for? Are these for like the machines that you make? Loons. Loons. There we go. Loons. So those are those are nice. I've always seen the bigger ones, but I've never seen the smaller ones. So we got a, a few different spools in here, y'all. <laughs> I said a few different spools. And a random paint, <laughs> a random paintbrush. But there is just spools upon spools upon spools upon a lid upon more spools some with some without so wow that was a great great box some of it oh it was, the van it, was packed. yeah the van was completely packed oh look at this it's a little easel like i said i don't really know of course I saw the big spool, so so you know those would there be some of those for sale soon. <laughs> a ball of yarn. Um, this is just a tin wall decor. Um, lots of print. This is the the thing that excited me about this auction were all the primitives. Is that not gorgeous? And here's another primitive. Oop. And then we have this cute candle. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. And then I do think you'll see a few of these little boxes. These little primitive house boxes. Would that not be so cute with a battery operated light in it? It's like Christmas. You don't know what you're getting. <laughs> so cute little basket. This is not Longenberger. Like I said, I didn't really bid on those. I left the collectors. I brought home plenty, 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 plenty. So... Um, this is just a nice little handled basket. Um, oh, got some cloches. Okay, one cloche. Oh, look at it. It's a whole little grouping of cloches. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know I'm kind of at a weird angle here. So you can see in the box. Oh my gosh. So some nice little cloches. Um, this is just a, just a bag. Just a bag. Oh, and then another bag. <laughs> Oh, not as exciting. Oh, this one's actually metal. Slippery little guy. This one's actually metal, a little primitive um, lantern type. That's cool. And then, oh, this is, <laughs> this is just a can that looks like it's been wrapped with homespun fabric and some wooden cherries. <laughs> Look at that. Literally, you guys, they're wooden cherries. They look like real cherries, though. That's interesting. That's neat. So when we got to this auction, like I said, it was 19 degrees. It was very windy. I'll probably have wind burn tomorrow. <laughs> and there had to be 100 of people there, which we did out really fast because it was cold. And if you did not dress for the weather. But right off the get-go, they started on tables that were in the wind. 
and they were like, we need to get through these tables because we do not want to be as cold. We need to go on the other side of the house to block the wind. So they were grouping two boxes, four boxes together. So you were just bidding, bidding, bidding fast. They wanted, they stopped, you know. So a lot of these boxes I got for like two, two to ten dollars. So the grouping, it's not just one box I paid that much money for. It, it was... Might have been four or five boxes. Yeah, it might have been four or five. Well, no, no, I didn't pay. It was always four. It was always, the most they put grouped together was four in my area anyway. Chris was in the tool area, so... So a lot of times I didn't even, like I saw one item that I wanted. So I'm like, well, for two to five bucks, yeah, I'm going to bid on that. So yeah, let's get back and to see what these goodies are. Okay, so this is our next box. So let's see what's in this box. First off, we have to take this glass piece out. A wired, just a clear glass, must have had some floral in it. I'll hand it over to Chris. He's got to do it. Oh, oh I'm so, oh, y'all, I'm so excited it was in the bottom. I'm so excited. You just wait. Uh, we got some dried. We got some more corn and some berries. Um, these are actually those, uh, if you're primitive. So we got some little primitive berries. And then some of the, holy cow, a humongous bag of the pumpkins. If you're primitive, the dried pumpkins. <laughs> this is huge huge bag y'all i'm gonna save my good piece to last um oh some st a stacking box nesting boxes just two there was just two in there well there's one without a lid inside right no this is um oh, the, it's, this this is the insert okay so um bob's boxes primitive this so and the ball of you um no, this is not the thing I'm excited about, y'all. <laughs> it's batteries. Always batteries. Very handy, though. But ba I don't know. Maybe they work. Yeah. I just bought some of these size batteries, so. That's for all those candles, right? Yeah. We'll see if they work. And then a nice Jesus. Yeah. Right as we're, well, by the time you see this, it'll be past Easter, so. But do y'all see this? Do y'all see it? We saw these in the picture, the firkins, the sugar boxes, and I wanted to bid on them. Um, and I wondered where the whole grouping was. So they had one of them tucked in one of the boxes. So I'm pretty excited. No, I will not paint this up. This is primitive. This is that mustard color. It will stay the way it is. But I was happy to get a surprise. That is the surprise because I know I didn't pay very much for it. Okay, next box. Want to peek? Want to peek? <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Oh, uh, we got a little wall hanger. This is actually a Lefton. Um, I don't know about the flowers, but that's very pretty. It's very pretty. See, it has the Lefton sticker on the back. It is very pretty. Um, this is like a little McCall's candle. I think it's been sun faded. <laughs> Decorative. Um, looks like another little. Oh, <laughs> it's another little back rubber, and his little foot fell off. Um, we got a heating pad. That's not very exciting. <laughs> um, and, uh, looks like they did a card, framed a card. Um, we got some crunchy grass. Crunch, crunchy grass. Um, another little, another little saying. I need to hold it up higher so you guys can see it. There's a lot to go through, so I'm not going to spend too much time reading. Oh, I love metal stars. A nice little black metal star. A Polaroid camera, y'all. I told you that they just emptied spaces. <laughs> they just emptied spaces. Um, looks like a battery-operated fan. We've got some random shoe stretchers. And then this looks like it is a napkin holder. Nice little wooden pretty neck and holder and then we oops and then we have the lid for the candle. And then another little see to this next box of box of goodies. Okay. Um oh okay. This is probably a candle holder. Candle holder. Candle yeah, candle holder, candlestick, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Y'all, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of, <laughs> of spools, 
spindles for sale because <laughs> there's a lot in there. Um, another nice little seine. We've got a nice, oh, that's a nice little wooden bowl. Very nice. Little milk can. I like the rustiness of that. A little box. A little primitive box. This is that Bob's boxes again. We got a candle here, or a candle, a uh, clock. Oh my, I told you we've been in the cold all day, y'all. So a nice battery operated clock, other than making sure that it works, it's in great condition. We've got batteries now. Yeah, we have some batteries. A um, little votive. I'm not sure that actually went together, but it works. A wired handle basket. Lots of little baskets. A courting candle that was all ready for the... <laughs> The winter season so that has a nice grungy candle we have some pa oh that's what they did they put the like probably what the cherries were they have little pears in there with a battery um yeah this one's maybe for the different seasons yeah they changed it out this one's actually a battery operated candle that you could put like those berries around um we've got another candle we've got some more Wrapped yarn balls. Y'all know that I love to make over these candles, and there's just some um, light bulbs, light bulbs, and some what, some whatnot. Okay, I let you peek in the box again. <laughs> it's fun to peek, isn't it? It's fun to peek. Um, so, oh, this is like a crown, like a votive crown. For at first, I thought it was a pumpkin, but it's a crown. Um, oh, this is a little cage for the little. They have some. Um, they made a little collage, we're gonna call it collage. So we got yarn and some bells and maybe they had some smelly goods. And what is that at the top? I'm curious. Oh, it's a little lady box. Little, that's adorable. They stuck a heart and a little match in there. And it's got one of those fun frog tops on it. And then they just stuck it in this little holder. That's neat. Some rose hips, do they still smell, Chris? You know, I, I don't have smell. Mm, no. Nope, so they're just pretty now. Or they're sealed really well. Um, well then we're, we're tangled here. We got a flower with a dragonfly. We got another little votive holder. A few little votive holders. <laughs> a little primitive star. Probably another candle holder. Candle holder. A little plate with some pit berries. That's, yeah, that screams primitive, doesn't it, y'all? We got another little, the, hey, if their power went out, they had plenty of candles to to do stuff with. Because now flashlight. we got some flashlights. There's two flashlights in, in here, y'all. A lot of times for odds and ends like this, we send to a local business um, that does once a month. And then we got some more options. Uh, auctions what you all don't ask for or I don't put on eBay or I don't see any sell we we send yeah, them on to auctions our next box is a tote that we filled so um this was a single birdhouse you know we have an outdoor booth it needs to be we reworked desperately but that not only do I buy items that we buy items to just resell but we buy items to fix up also so this birdhouse is perfect for that. So the tote is filled with all these other little boxes. This is how they sold a lot of them. Oh, look at the cute bunny. We got a little train. Um, I bet you, I wonder if this is a candle. Yep, it's a candle. There's a ton, a ton, a ton, ton, ton of candles. That looks like it's a wax melt. Um, another, oh, look at that battery operated candle with a star on it. A cute little today is a gift family oh i love this little holder which this probably went on there a little star holder um larry got a train this is a toothpick holder votive and then uh, just a little little crock of uh, those came with some little crock with handles so the cream one i've sold that one a lot of times I've not ever had this beautiful green color. Is that not pretty? Random a hub candle sticks and candle holders for days. I'll have enough 
I'll have enough to share. Now this little box had lots of littles in it. This is actually really heavy. It's an oil, like you put, it's like a tiki, I believe. Um, like you can see the, the wick in there, but it's really heavy. It's really heavy metal. So I don't know if it's a pewter or anything, but look at all the littles in here. And of course my eye went to this little butter cookie press butter mold, whichever way, oh, that was, that was worth this whole box to me, which was multiple boxes. But, so, many long so we have so many littles in here, the little <laughs> apple decor. So I might put a little mini set together for somebody. We got it. a little iron, <laughs> a little iron with a stand. A little pie. What do you see? The pie. Isn't oh, Chris it? sees the little pie. Look at it. <clears throat> um, they are signed, actually. So or little maybe pie. it's a loaf of bread that goes in there. Or a loaf of bread. Oh, my gosh. Look at the little... Butter truck. Little... Oh, my gosh, you guys. It has the lid. It has the lid. What is it about littles? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at those candles. They're so little. They're so little. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. I get excited about the little, little, littles, littles. There's just a whole bunch of my next grouping. Look at, we have, to go with the littles, we have some primitive houses. Oh my gosh, are those not cute? These are resin. Way cute. Oh, see what got me? See what got me? And then I love this restaurant wear. And it, no chips, no cracks. Restaurant wear. Um, this is a cast iron spoon rest. We got a little church birdhouse decoration. Some odds and ends that don't really matter. <laughs> oh, too bad the, the paper's pulling off of it, but it's a. Um, I don't know what if this is just a run. Oh, it looks like it, it's just a, just a runner. Beautiful. Beautiful little runner. This is a cool piece. Look at that. Is that not neat, y'all? Oh my gosh. That is cool. I don't know. Another candle or if this went, if I find the others, that looks like it. Nah, like maybe not because that doesn't stay together. See? Oh, I told you. Candles for days. I'll have candles for day. What are these? What are those, y'all? Nutcrackers? Because there's all of these. What are these? I don't, I really, I have no idea. Are they nutcrackers? Do they say on this? I don't know. There was a piece of paper. Chris will look. And what does it say on there? Nutcracker. I was right. It was a great <laughs> guess. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, this is a tote that nobody was buying the totes. We were starting at this when I bought this tote. We're starting to like, everybody was disappearing. <laughs> So, but I just kind of spied because they're going for a couple bucks. So, for a couple bucks, oh yeah. So, we got green enamel wear in here. You know, like I said, I just spied the primitives. A little bath, a little cute basket. Oh my gosh. Um, this is interesting. Swanee, Shawnee. Industries, 1988. I'm surprised it wasn't a Lungan Burger, but that's interest, interesting handle on that. It almost reminds me of a um, fire extinguisher. Maybe it doesn't you all, but it kind of reminds me of that. That little bird, but the little birdie's nose is chipped, but you know, I know I can fix that. Oh, the cracker. cracker bar we ate at the Cracker Barrel after we got done with the auction, so that's funny. Ooh, some fun and that's nice greenery um nice little jar with the lid a little bottle some flavoring bottles cast iron probably probably to hold a candle um and then this has got some nice nice greenery in there okay, so the next one is one of the groupings that i got together the tote's a little big to put underneath there so um, yep, we got, I saw this greenery in there, so I thought that was nice. And then we got some fake fruit, some berries, a railroad tie. So let's get this out. This is, this, all, 
this also spiked my interest. It is a train. A couple little, I don't know, but these are a little bit more of a tin type. Probably put a candle in there. <laughs> oh, this one's heavy though. This yeah. one's not such so this much of a. This one's actually cast. Oh, and then this one is a cast tr train. Oh, that's interesting. So this is a tin type. These two are tin types. This is a little heavier. And then this is a cast iron one. You might have made those actually. Yeah, they might have made some of this. We couldn't touch the woodwork. Well, you could have bought the woodworking, the, all the wood that he had left over, but um, we wouldn't have been able to fit it in the van and it was like a quarter of the barn. So just random pieces of wood. Look at this. This is a train. It's a train also. But it's a little um, trinket box. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where do you find a train trinket box? Okay, so I opened the little baggie. Look at it. It has a little masher in it. Oh my gosh. So it's just those, those miniatures. A little birdie. Um, some little butter churns just it's just a random random bag of everything this was a three set of bowls are these these are nice so i mean brand new blue rimmed tender heart treasures so they're newer because they're dishwasher safe oven safe freezer safe they're the whole but it's a nice little trio of bowls. This <laughs> got some more yarn and string, yarn and string. Um, looks like this is supposed to be a necklace. Anybody want to cry craft? So it was started and must not have been finished. We, oh, this is my favorite battery operated lights at Christmas time. The primitive brown string ones that plug in. We have another one of these primitive, it's, it's stuck, it's stuck, let's see if I can get it out of here without breaking it. Another primitive house, these are neat, these are neat. Primitive house and the mustard. We got a little, maybe that goes to one of the cloches, cloches, slippery little guy, and then a little tin. So, got this angel, this was in a grouping of something. It, they just randomly put this nice textured angel. So that would be good for Christmas time. I actually bid on this next piece, y'all. Um, a beautiful amber bottle. And I can't believe I got it in my price range of under $10. Because I watched them go for a lot of money at auctions. So <laughs> I guess nobody wanted it at this auction. And then I bid on this box. Um, because of these yes i did but if it was only going to be a couple bucks you know i'm going to bid on it for rusty crusty stars this one would go around like a can there's um more. there's actually a lot more of the rusty crusty stars in there y'all this is what I, this is the handful i was going for so well, this is probably a weird way to film but this is the easiest to have you guys see in the box so yeah these are all brand new Brand new candles, brand new candles. Swan Creek. Um, you know, <laughs> so I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> I've never really resold candles, but um, yeah. So just a ton, ton of brand new candles. We got some flower foam. We got another brand new candle. Um, some battery operated ones, some lights. Just, I mean, there's just a, just a lot of packed in these few dollar boxes. And then we got some little people. <laughs> so those are the Fisher Price people. Yep, and Fisher Price. Yes, uh, Grandma's Kitchen. Grandma's Kitchen and a little girl. Okay, so <laughs> I did bid on this singly. Got it for two bucks. But these phones, these um, rotary dialed phones, I can sell for like $24 in my booth and it does work. It's all hooked up, ready to go. You know, the cord's a little bit questionable, but a lot of people will just use these as decor pieces. Now it is super heavy, super heavy, but it's just a fun conversational piece. Um, we had some dowel furniture. Oh, like literally some dowel furniture, y'all. Here's another hutch. 
Um, I, I don't do, maybe somebody has a dollhouse. Um, primitive, primitive candle um, that needs, definitely needs to be made sure because it's got a broken, broken off candle in the inside. So we'll have to. Okay, so let's see what's in the next box. Nobody was bidding on this box. So I did see this stool and I'm like, okay, well I'll bid on it because there is a stool in there and I like to redo stools. So let's see what else is in the box then. Um, trinket. Just a little heart trinket dish. We got some moss. We've got some scrunchy paper, a ruler, and actually there's some old toys in here. I think um, I combined two boxes is what I so did. So this is um, horse. Horse in there. There's another horse in there. There's Naked a, men. There's a cowboy that's seen better days. Um, another little plaque. I thought this one is one of the one of the spied. It's actually a cast iron um, horse. That's not supposed to be on them. Every, this box is kind of a little bit on the gross side, y'all. It's a little bit on the gross side. Um, probably part of the horse. It's probably the other part of the horse or the horse. Maybe the other horse. How many times can I say horse? Oh, yep. The other horse is in there, but look at that aged patina of it. Oh, gorgeous. So that's your older cast iron. That's oh, a fire truck. Oh, fire truck. Yeah. Go. And actually we do sell the cast iron. Yeah. I do sell cast that's iron. It's got the people in there too. Oh, there's the people. That's the, what's always missing is the people. I think there's the other guy. The other people. Um, oh my, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's got some sunburn he's, on his he's head. Got, he's got some issues. Oh, I found his leg. The guy's leg. His leg and we got. That's Tonto. I was going to say, is that Tonto? Tonto? Huh. Other than that, that's interesting. Oh, can you even see him? Sorry, guys. That's Tonto. I don't see long range. We're over halfway now. We're over at the halfway part. So I don't know what was in this box. <laughs> um, this was something that came. Looks like a sleigh. I bid on this piece separately. Um, there's some enamelware. And most of this is just kind of junk in here. So in this next box, there was this cast iron bird bath. And it was in this box. Oh, you can't just see it. It was just this greenery, that's all. It was this and this. Random. Yeah, remember boxes were grouped together, so it not necessarily did I. So it looks like there's a camcorder. Um, this is a candle stick. I did see a random candle that um, was missing its bottom, so hopefully I have. I mean, this can come out and you can change it. A little vase, a little vessel, a battery operated candle. A um, video game for your TV. <laughs> <laughs> a Spider-Man. And then these look like they would have been like Wii for the game. Wii remotes. <laughs> Wii game. Um, but I did spy this piece. I, uh, of course, you know, I love stars. There's just something about stars. Imagine that. It's another train. <laughs> another train. So just a wooden toy. A little battery operated lantern. This is cool. It, um... I don't know if this was a napkin holder or just a shelf sitter. Oh, look at these are nice little primitive canvases. I have some primitive lovers out there. Um, just a bucket. Oh my gosh, look how big this candle is. Um, it's battery operated and then it says believe with a star. That's beautiful. This next one is a combined box into one of a tote, but I did bid on this singly this beautiful lamp oh look at that flower petal with the hummingbird you all i tried to get the tiffany lamp but it went out of my resale price so but i did get this one is it not gorgeous oh, love it love it you know i usually pop these up for auction on ebay y'all so if anybody's interested i'm just going to empty the box out and show you so nice little baby grass a little metal pitcher, little ball of greenery. We got some Christmas tree. Yeah, those we, got, <laughs> we got some very rusty keys. Those are way cool though. Um, 
This is just a grouping, got another battery operated grungy candle. The world's small. Oh, look how cute those are. Um, these hang on something. These would they hang look on. Like they were for scales. I don't know what they what they are. Do you all know what these would have gone to? This is a pencil sharpener. I've always seen them um, um, in what? the brownish antique bronze, never in a green color, actually. And then a nice little primitive decor piece. A uh, metal star. Chris has just handed them to me. Battery operated candle. I bet I bet you this is a candle. <laughs> Some coasters, a little snuffer, and a nice little. Oh, look, I don't even need to do anything to that. That's got a fun star on it. Um, this is actually an older, this is Japan, little plant. No, creamer? Creamer? Yeah, I would say it's creamer. Creamer. Oh, I wonder if it's missing its lid. Do you think it would have had a lid, y'all? It'll let me know once I Google Lens it, but. Um, actually, there was a rolling pin in this. This is a rolling pin holder, and her nephew was there, and he actually asked if he could buy the rolling pin off of me, so I just gave it to him. You know, y'all know I have plenty of rolling pins, so. But, so there was a rolling pin in it when I bought it, but that's okay. He can have his aunt's rolling pin. Maybe he remembers making cookies. So another little battery opera. This is kind of a neat little, that's a lot of candles. <laughs> another, another warmer, oh my goodness. Um, some more battery operated candles. I, we have to make sure they all work, that's for sure. And then another, another one. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I did see, I did, I did see this piece. Oh, iron stone. So that's my own collection, y'all. It's my own collection. Yeah. I don't. looks like toast. <laughs> it does, he's right. That does look like toast. Now these next ones I bid separately. That's why I was so surprised that the other one was in there. Were these firkins, the sugar heavy. buckets. Um, some of them had stuff in, but this one did not. So the, I bought this one. Um, and then I bought this one separately too. So that's why I said the surprise because I paid up on these um, quite a bit. Nothing in that one. Nothing in this one. Oh, you guess what's in this. <laughs> and then I don't want to drop these. And then there's another little one. These are heavy. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really, imagine, guys, there's some more candles. But, you know, I'm happy, happy, happy. Those battery operated candles are perfect for what I do. These are beautiful. These are reproductions. Um, like a heavy wood resin, a resin, almost a resin. Because I don't see any of the lines from the right. So it's side. they're really heavy, but they're beautiful reproductions. And like I said, I paid up on these. You don't see firkins, sugar buckets ever come around. Reproductions, new anything. This is like the first time I think I've ever seen them, other than the one that Chris redid. <laughs> Redid Kelly that you have. Um, yes. See what treasures are in our next box. We've got some styrofoam beads. We've got some moss. Ooh, some pip berries. Oh, it came in. A, I have to go get down to that. I don't know. Farmer's Almanac from 1932. Wow, they got they they were thin back then. <laughs> they were way thin back then. Um, we got some acorns. Some dried, well, I guess they're always dried, aren't they? Got some acorns. They're dead acorns. Dead acorns. Got some Christmas cards. Got a, ooh, an oval frame. Hmm. 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 <gasps> a spool. Got another, got another spool. There we go. Now I can pull this out. So it was a little vase. Some more corn. This is some kind of stencil. Um, some, some more corn. Um, and then a whole other bag. I know, surprise, candles. Some more candles. And then this looks like a primitive clock. We'll have to see if it works or not. Just a few more boxes. So just a bat box. This reminds me of at church when they collect money, actually. Um, we got a set of battery operated candles. Oh, we got a mercury glass Christmas tree. And then, oh, this is, I thought it it's didn't a have a, it's a Kleenex. Kleenex. 
Kleenex box. I just thought I already shared this one, but I had not. It's, just, it's another candle, uh, one of the courting candles. Or no, it, this isn't a courting candle because it doesn't have it. It's just a candle holder. And a beautiful black spool. Some more very fun greenery. Another spool. We got a sample. It's signed on the back. Oh. If usually they are usually they are signed. Um, another spool. <laughs> Another candle, I think. So I might that have one matching actually sets. That a cording candle because you can move it up yeah, and down. Yeah, yeah. It does go up and down. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. One day it did. Maybe. <laughs> um, little basket. This looks like a jar that was a candle. Somebody's looking for their remote control. And this is why he thought. He's like, oh, there's another. Oh, it does have a light that's, in it, that's too. It's got a candle in it. It's got a candle in it, but I know we had another one of those somewhere. Cool. That's a, this is a neat basket, though. It's a neat little basket. See how I kept buying so many of them? Because, oh my gosh, the treasures. They were just packed with treasures that I know I love. And a lot of my buyers love. A lot of my viewers love. It's fun to unpack these with you all. So, yeah, we think this, this is why we thought maybe he made those other two. Because there was a painted one in there. Probably he made them for her for her decor. Um, oh, this looks like a sewing box. But no, no sewing goods in there. We get oh, what's in here? Oh, so it's a very cute, very cute primitive box. But it looks like it has a wax melt in it, <laughs> like a brand new, um, brand new wax melt. That's primitive. Let's let's well let's oh, see what it looks. Packaging for it. Oh, look at those sheep. Permanents. Yummy. Um, battery operated candle. Some dry thingies. I don't know what that is. It got some orange crystals. A jar of not so dry things. Oh, and it's got it's lit lit. It's got light a light in it. It's solar. Oh, solar. Another solar. Well, no. Got a birdie pitcher. Another sample. Another birdie pitcher. She liked birdies. And then some more of the flowers. Okay, let's let's see what's in here. I think this is the candle that goes to that one that, that has the candle base inside of it. So cool, better operating candle. That's a nice little wooden painted bowl there's another one this is this one's resin imagine that candle <laughs> candle um these look like some type of cards they that you can't get into oh here we go oh the lord helps me oh so they're just inspirational psalms bible verses that's neat isn't that not neat that's a nice gift um, oh, it's her study Bible, maybe? Or just a book? Oh, we got some wooden bowls. Another wooden bowl. Wooden primitive plate. A rusty crusty. Oh, there's a magnet of some sort, <laughs> sort sticking on there. wooden piece. These are just neat little pieces. I think they're all kind of designed for candle holding. Too, yeah, so. I think they are. They are definitely designed for candle. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So much, so much to go through this. I, oh, this would be like your Christmas napkin holder. And then we got some Christmas cards. We really are winding down. <laughs> we really are. Oh my gosh. There's just so much. So, another little sample. Just They're just really printed. You know, these are always used. They're handmade, signed. Um, very nice framed. We've just got some battery operated. Of course, you know, I saw the stars, y'all. I saw the stars. Here's some little candle holders. Um, 
Another one of these cute baskets. Just so many goodies, y'all. Okay, well, it's heavy. I don't know what's in it. If there's anything in it, or it could be a whole bunch of these boxes. So let's see what's in there. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We found out what was in there. We've got some yarn um, and some Christmas fabric. Some Christmas fabric, some more Christmas fabric, and then some Christmas patterns, some books. Yeah, so there's plenty of fabric in there, plenty of ideas, some needlepoint kits that have never been used. There's like three of them in there. Um, looks like a start of a quilt. So yeah, there's a reason why this little container was heavy. A crockery pitcher, this little beautiful gravy boat, which is an iron stone, but it's got the green design on it with the little pattern. It's got some nice crackling and some nice beautiful age, age to it. It's a beautiful piece. Beautiful, but I, I'd collect just the plain white. Um, this is actually a McCoy planter, I think. Is it a planter? So this is a McCoy. Um, and, and it's in great shape. This, I don't, this was a little Longenberger piece that came with it. Would this just like to hold sugar or a butter pat or something? Or do, what was this used for? Do you guys know? Let me know. Here's another little just a plate that came with this grouping. Um, same thing, this is all one group. So this is Americana General, but look at those fun stars. So it's like a, a crock, it's a crock, but I don't know if you'd, um, if it's oven safe or not to make a pie or anything out of it like that. Um, of course, in the grouping was this, which is ironstone. <laughs> So this is why, of course, I bid on it because I wanted the ironstone bowl. And then these I purchased separately. These are crock bowls. These are the older ones. And these are in pretty darn good shape. So there's one. And then I did get another one of it. Um, like I said, it's, they're in good. I, to my knowledge, I don't see any chips or anything. So that was awesome. Oh, I did get one of these. Um, I do really good reselling Crocs that have these handles. Um, it did not have the lid, but it had the handle, so I was happy about that. This is a, planter. I think, yeah, Longenberger planter with the base. So, yeah, she had, like I said, she had lots of Longenberger. I, I, I don't think these go together either. So this is another Ironstone bowl. Um, so... Is that ironstone? Yeah, it's ironstone. It's just a different, heavier, heavier than a little bit different. And they actually had this sitting in it, but it, it's not. It's this is not ironstone. This is um probably USA maybe. Yeah, no, this is actually McCoy in the right light. This unfortunately does have a little chip on it. I remember seeing that. And then I did go ahead and they had this ironstone piece. This little, I can't do it. Can't do it. I got too much stuff, y'all. This is little, a train. Is that not beautiful? Look at that detail. Um, it has some crazing, but these are older pieces. So, I mean, not to be chipped up and cracked uh, is wonderful. Now, this is just a restaurant wear, Homer Laughlin, which is the fiesta wear that they actually had something maybe that sitting underneath like it was the same piece and then i did get it was a cream there should be a creamer yeah okay so this is a little sugar yet again it was the iron stone um can't help myself y'all so a little sugar and creamer set of iron stone and a few pieces of glassware I get. I did get this Fenton Amber Bird. Oh, long-tailed bird. I, I don't pick up too much glassware anymore. But... Little bud vase. And then this is a little Vaseline glowy glass bud vase. Nice little size. Footed. Okay. Whew, 
That was a lot of smalls, y'all. That was a lot of smalls. So Chris is going to go ahead and show his tools, what he got. And then we have some bigger items that we will go through. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I told you it was a big haul. It was worth our time staying to the end of the auction for what goodies we got. All right. So on my part of the auction, there was a lot of tools. Most of them were more modern tools, though. So I go for the primitive stuff, uh, hand planes and things like that. And also, they were being very high on the uh, pricing. So I was able to get a box lot for uh, $15, which I thought was great. It had five planes in it, standard planes. It had two of the rabbit planes, which I've never had one of these. Um, but what you'll do is you put that up against the wood and it, it is able to plow out the material. A wood block plane, an old tape measure, uh, this is actually for your air. You plug your air hose in there and it'll squirt, shoot air to you. Um, some of these old clamps, or an, an old clamp was in there. Old wire brush. And then there were a couple of boxes that came with it. This has just some random things. Like I said, a lot of it was newer product, but uh, still, I mean, it's usable for me when I'm building things for Yvonne. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and then it had also, and I'd like to go through this, this is actually part of the package, it had his notebook with it. So a lot of these are probably some plans that he had drawn up, or some figures and things. So I'll be going through that. It just had some of his old sockets in it, uh, just a random toolbox that he would have had laying around. Uh, like I said, if I picked this up, I think for not much money, and it probably came with something else when she was doing it. It came with the bird bath. And that's what I thought it was. <laughs> the bird bath and the green greenery. Hey, y'all, look at these yummies. <laughs> the good stuff's not over yet, y'all. So, yes, got, got my hands on these salvaged pieces. I got to pull some nails out, but these are great for signage. These you can just sell as is. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, thank you. So I was happy to get this box of Did, goodies. I picked up these two primitive pieces. I bid on some of the furniture, but you know, I was kind of going up a little bit higher, but I thought these were unique. Um, I'll probably change the colors out on both of these pieces. Um, j yeah, just nice little cubbies. And this actually, these are not attached. They're free freestanding so um they just are on a base so that's just nice little cubbies kind of had to look because most of the times the drawers had something <laughs> in them like this one <laughs> I, would you say it has <laughs> something in it <laughs> oh Our last little bit <laughs> um i know this birdhouse is worse for wear but it was minimal amount I know Chris loves a good project piece with all his new tools. Um, yeah, it actually needs a new spindle. Um, yeah, so I, I'm super excited to get this one made over. It might be one that I keep for myself. Uh, yeah, it's a nice birdhouse. A couple little plant stands. This little stand went for minimal. I mean, I can get that let it snow off so we can use it all year long. But all this stuff came in it. All this like lighted outdoor decor. This is a little wasp catcher, little block. leaves and all came with it. Actually, this was in a different lot, this um, pulley, I'll hand that to Chris. So the pulley was in um, a different lot that actually a guy wanted the wiring and stuff that was in that lot. So he bought it off me and we kept, I said all we wanted was the pulley, so. That worked out. So yeah, just I just thought this was a nice planter box. Did bid on some birdhouses and they came home with me. Dropped this birdhouse, <laughs> that's his piece down there. So he'll get fixed. And I cannot believe that I got one of these metal chairs. <laughs> and, and I wanted, I didn't necessarily want the metal chair, but I wanted these metal little soup case boxes that were on it. And really, like I said, most of the items I bid on were under 10 bucks. So I'm like, oh, I'm taking home a metal chair. 
And then our last piece is one of these little printer. I love the age of this one. It's got that nice handle. Even though I would flip it the opposite way personally and then put a hanging system on the back so you didn't have to see that. That's my personal way that I like to hang them. So we'll probably take that out and flip it the other way. Okay, so that is it for a haul. Thank you, thank you, thank you for unboxing this with me and Chris, Chris and I. Oh my gosh, there were just so many treasures and I'm sorry that I look like, ugh. you know, it was cold. I had, uh, you know, earmuffs on, a warm coat, but I wanted to get in and see what were in all these packages. Oh my gosh. So let me know down in the comments below what your item was that we found were your favorite. What was surprise that sugar bucket? Sure, that firkin was a surprise. <laughs> surprise since I paid up for the other ones and got some project pieces. We got some pieces to resell. So let me know if there's anything you saw. Um, go check out eBay, see if I listed anything, if anybody's interested in anything. Again, thanks for watching today's video, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you are new and you're checking out this channel for the first time and you liked what you saw, not only do I do haul videos when I we go out and about in the wild searching for treasures. I also do um, secondhand flips along with furniture flips and share the process with you all here on the channel. So again, thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.